Good morning, modern steaders. Oh, it's definitely staying dark later in the morning. We gotta get some lights out to the milking room so we can go out milking at our normal time. Having to keep going out a little bit later and later every morning. The boys must still be sleeping. Morning, boys. I don't blame you. I slept in this morning, too. I slept in like an hour. I'm sure glad I had some of my favorite coffee here this morning. I got the free range coffee out, my favorite one's the early morning bite. Come on in, yeah, come on in. I'm awake now with my coffee, guys. I'm gonna have that linked in the video description down below. If you wanna try it out, there's a coupon code for 10% off. You ready, Willow? There you go. You hear the boys? We butchered our meat birds yesterday. So if you follow us on Instagram, you know how far behind we are putting out our videos. I posted a photo of the meat birds all wrapped up, ready for the freezer, and ready for our winter meals this year. Thank you, Willow. God, there you go. Good morning, Hope. Little P. Let's get some covers to go on top of the hay feeders. Come on, Hope. There you go. Morning, Moose. Get that metal roof finish put on. All right, so let's go from here, this rib over, be 10 and a half. Then we got two inches, which would be 12 and a half. If we go 13. So we'll go 13 for the next piece. What's that? You can put your winter coat on? It's supposed to get down to 38 degrees tonight. 38 degrees tonight. Gotta have to start a fire. What are you doing, Figaro? Where were you hiding? Were you under the canoe? comes out when I'm getting ready to work and make noise. I think he lives in the dirt. Alright. <clears throat> My tape measure's breaking. So 13 is right here on this rib. Awesome. I can use that as my guide. I saw a bunch of paper in the basement. Figaro, do you like free range coffee too? Oh man, I'm never gonna get any of my own coffee now. You know what, one of you viewers told me to cut it reversed, cut it with the white side up. And I forgot, guys. <sighs> but what I did do is I leaned my saw rest on this side, so any scratching is on the piece we're not gonna be using. I like it. And we had a big scratch on it when it got delivered. We were able to cut it off and we won't be using that piece. This is the side we need. <laughs> So pretty. And 
then the screw holes will fall in that last piece of trim. So for today, we can only put two screws in. I have to take the screw gun back from Gina. I only need it for a minute. Oh, it's gonna be nice to have this roof all done with the ridge cap on. Yeah, so that last screw will have to wait. I like that, guys. I like it. I like it. Uh, looks like it's starting to cloud up. I don't like that. I left the pad in here with our measurements to drill those holes at in that back piece of tin. So from the top, we gotta measure down. One and a half. 31. 51 and a half. 72 and a half. 92. 111 and a half and 132. And then third 132. Uh oh, looks like Gina's collecting rocks for her rock wall. What do you think you're doing? We don't like rocks around here. We're trying to get rid of all the rocks, not bring them over. We're trying to get rid of all the rocks. We don't want any more. Okay. We don't want any more rocks. I was gonna get what? <laughs> I was gonna get firewood and then I started to get rocks. Uh, we have enough rocks. What are you doing? Putting the tin up. I thought we were all done right there. I was gonna like... No, I still gotta get up right here to put the ridge cap on. Your favorite pot. I'm gonna let you go up on the roof. You want to. Go bury them. <laughs> we don't want them. Curious to see if this one's wrapped the same way as the other two are. No, this one is. Ah, oh, they sent me two ridge caps. I was only supposed to get one. Huh. Oh, that's funny. They did. They sent me two ridge caps. I ordered one. Watch this, guys. One ridge cap. And then the second one is a cover one, so it doesn't get, first one doesn't get ruined. And they send it brown. <sighs> Can't even use it. Guess it's a good thing they sent the second one, because that one's damaged. <sighs> and it's brown. We ain't got no brown roofs here. I guess if I ever needed an extra ridge cap or something, we can always paint it. So we'll save that, that's for sure. That's a little added bonus. I like it. Oh, this stuff's always fun because we gotta take the plastic off of it. Oh, 
like the noise. That noise is satisfying. That's it. You know, it's my least favorite thing, getting up on the ridge of a metal roof. Measurement. So thirty seven and a quarter. Thirty six. Seven. Let's mark it. What are you doing? Lock. Can't lock. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get the other one set up in place. Make sure it's all going straight. Gina, why not come out here and hand me some more ridge cap on the other end? I need the little one and then the big one. I'll take the big one too. It's an extra one they gave us. Like green. Uh, that's what I said. At least we could have got an extra green one. What am I going to do with that brown thing? I don't know. I'll have to paint it if we ever need it, I guess. Other projects. other projects? We could use it for the goat. I'm saying the other projects. Oh, okay. The other projects. Well, then you get to stack firewood. I'll say I'll do this first bucket, but I'm sure I won't. I mean,
Looks good. Be better when you're down. I want to put some gable end vents in the woodshed. One came with the kit and one came with the barn kit. But we're not doing the gable end vent in the barn because we're going to get it spray foamed. So we don't need that. So we'll put one in here and one on the other side. It comes with some nice louvered vents. I like that. It's fancy looking. Let's figure out where we're going to put it. I'm thinking we line it up with that board and it only go as high as we can go. So if we do this and that. the wind you can feel the breeze which is a good thing the more airflow the better
I like it. It's gonna look so pretty. You're making a mess. I am making a mess. That's what I do best. Don't I? <laughs> yeah. That's what you married me for, right? Was to make a mess. Absolutely. I can't believe we're almost done. We just got to trim it out and do a couple little odds and end pieces and it's done. Oh, then we get to stack the firewood. Huh? Then we get to finish stacking all the firewood. That's all I'm doing. What's that? That's all I'm doing. This is just the beginning. All you're doing today. <laughs> <laughs> how far you can get it. That wasn't very good. You did good. It's also hard when there's a lot of grain in a bucket. Kara, give me some fresh hay. We trimmed their hoofs and we left the stand in here. I know Caleb enjoyed the cooking. Oh, and apparently, oh, but he doesn't put his head in the right hole. That's alright. He looked good. Oh, now he's not going to stick it to the right, right hole. Nope. Do you guys like getting your hoofs trimmed this afternoon, huh? Do you enjoy that? You were, they were actually really good. They did very good getting their hoofs trimmed. That's why we left that in here. We figured we'd let them have some little extra grain. We did all the goats today. Goat. How many eggs do you think? I'm thinking... Oh, one oh, chicken. chicken. I'm thinking 16. 16! Good job. And then, guys, No, no, but I'm just gonna buy bacon. I'm just doing the thing. And then you try to find out if you can You're working, sir. Do you want more than that? Okay. 
butchered the chickens the other day. I cut up one of the chickens into pieces. So the chicken breast we're having tonight with dinner is fresh off the pasture yesterday. And I'll tell you what, them birds are delicious. We made like a Thai ginger stir fry tonight for dinner. And that was good. Oh, I love switching it up every once in a while. It's so nice to have the whole roof on the firewood shed dried in. Now we just gotta, well I shouldn't say we just gotta stack the firewood now. We still have to finish trimming it out. We'll do that and then we'll stack the firewood. Usually I find for me, if I don't finish up the project right away, all the little bits and pieces, I say, oh, I'll go back and get those. It's usually like five, 10 years down the road before you get to those little bits and pieces. So I wanna make sure all that gets done before we move on. I was just reading a quote, guys, and oh, it's so true. Our greatest fears are created by our imagination. Don't give in to them. That is so true. Anytime we think there's an obstacle that we can't accomplish or we think there's something wrong with us or so many things, it's something we made up in our head. We just need to turn that around and talk to ourselves in a positive voice. We just need to do one little thing every day whether it's for yourself, for your homestead, and then within a blink of an eye, we'll change everything up. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. We have one big project that's been getting worked on here that has been making it a little bit difficult for filming, but we're almost done with that. and I can't wait to share that with you. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video.